So we're ready to kick off here this afternoon at True Road in the True City lineup. Ollie Chenoweth, Shane White, Warren Dahl, Dan Evans, Jake Ash, the skipper, Jordan Kopp, Cody Cook, Jared Sims, Liam Eddy, Jed Harper Penman, and Les Affle wearing the number 11 in the all white for True as a kick towards County Hall end. The kick from Sherrod stays on that left flank, headed out by Ash, then helped on by Les Affle. Eddie brings it down, and that's what he likes to do, run at defences, great ball through to Harper Penman, couldn't quite get there as Dan Green was quick off his line, but that was a tremendous ball through by Eddie there. So City with this corner, four men on the edge of the box, they all move in, it goes all the way across, but this is White, flicks it back towards the six yard box, Harper Penman with a shot, but uh, wide of the goal, but Forcing a, a little bit of worry in the Bedford defence there, all the same. Out. And then Lawless clears it. Jan van back to Shaw. Curtis Shaw making a run down this right wing, all the way across the pitch. Cut inside. And a good effort there by Andrew Phillips. Cooper's cross. Evans gets his head to it, but this is Phillips with the effort on goal. And Jake Ash very coolly just chests it down to Chenoweth. And the skipper there showing that he's been around a bit and uh, nothing was going to make him panic on that one. Jake Ash with long ball towards Affle finds him. But uh, Gerard is there, but Affle continues, and what a goal! 31 minutes on the clock, Affle got past the number three, Jordan Gerard. Gerard appealing for perhaps that he was fouled, but Affle continued to play, and in right from this shot along the deck into the far corner of the net. As the wind and the rain picks up again, as uh, half-time approaches, Cop dangerous ball to trying to get Dahl in and a good save by Chenoweth so Jake Ash with the kick finding Les Affle goal scorer at the moment and comes inside of Cody Cook Cook with the effort which uh, looking to almost place the ball and uh, that wasn't too far away from the, the keeper's right hand post quickly taken which Zach Stevens again using Cooper Inside the Yampan. Ash on his back, but the ball comes in to Phillips. Phillips shakes off one challenge and then able to run with the ball into the city net. So the equaliser coming in the 43rd minute and uh, perhaps a soft one, really. How sweet it would be to go back in at half time in the lead again there's Cook with the effort and it's uh, all but off the line there by Sims as he tried to get on the end of it now Liz Affle gets in first before before Yamfant so we kick off the second half True City 1 Bedford Town 1 and uh, immediately Bedford Town pushing City back. Davis was on the ball, but uh, play stopped for a free kick to Bedford. Jordan Gerrard comes across to take this one, swing it in with his left foot. Lots of bodies on the edge of the penalty area. The ball comes in. Chenoweth, well, Chenoweth was going to go for it. It went over the back line of the defence. Hesitation, perhaps, by the keeper. And the ball ends up in the top corner of the net. And uh, the Bedford team there all run to Jordan Gerrard, who took the kick. And obviously not coming off anyone at all, but straight into the back of the net.
Bedford keeping one man up, the rest defending as the corner comes in. White not able to get to it is Harper Penman now. Shapes up, ball comes off. Oh, it hits the bar! And then Shane White with the shot that hit the bar, and then another shot rifling in, which keeper Green able to dive to his left to stop. So caught it well, but off the middle of the Bedford crossbar. Oh, great save, Chenoweth from Yan Fan. Short kick, Lawless on the ball, shut down by Harper Penman. Knocks it all the way across the pitch. Good touch by Jordan Davis. Bedford uh, moving forward sweetly now as Yan Fan into the box. Has the effort on goal, which Chenoweth just palms away, but uh, from my liking, Yan Fan found that a little bit too easy. Second corner comes in all the way across. So oh, it was Coombs who nearly got on the end of Evans. His cross back at, across the face of the goal. And then Jordan Davis who's slipped back into the right back position after Paul Cooper going off. As Chernoweth had to be fully stretched to catch that one in the air. No, he gets past Jared. Les Affle does well. He's got two men running towards. Oh, that far post, Eddie couldn't quite slide in and get on the end of it. Jordan Copno inside the cook. Run by Brokenshire. Couldn't quite get it out this side to White, but it's still true in possession. Cop's ball towards Broomfield. Good play by Broomfield. Back to Cop. Cop's inside. Goes past one or two defenders, but couldn't quite get the power behind any shot. Chenoweth's kick, catching the win, but uh, Brokenshire on the ball to Cop, Losing possession, but ball takes over. That's the ball to Coombs. Coombs inside to Ash, and then the sh In fact, it's given a penalty. The foul on Jake Ash. Just fouled enough by the defender there. Just caught him as Ash was lining up, was shaping up to have a pot on goal now. We're in the stoppage time, and we need this one. <laughs> Not 20 until next month. Can the teenager do the business? Yes, he does! Into the roof of the net. Jordan Cop in the 91st minute, at least gives something back to True on, on an afternoon, which I think they deserved it. It's 2-2. Two, two. High and long, Chenoweth comes out. Doesn't quite get there, but uh, Evans hooks it away. Now, Seb Brimfield can't get it away from Jordan Jarrod. The number three, though, hits it long and hard and off for a goal kick. And Chenoweth with the goal kick into the fourth minute of stoppage time. And there we go. That's uh, a full-time whistle. Completion of the first match here at Tree Road in this season's Southern League, known as the Caller League Premier Division. Finished 2-2 after uh, the visitors went in front through a free kick, which found the back of the net from Jordan Jarrod six minutes into the second half. And then one minute into stoppage time, the equaliser coming after a foul on Jake Ash. And it was Jordan Jordan Cop, who stood up and took the penalty and smashed it into the back of the net. Truro City 2, Bedford Town 2.